Hi everybody, welcome back to the Chiquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I have a really good one for you if you are a brand new wig wearer. I'm gonna give you guys a list of five things that I think you absolutely need when you're just starting out and things that you need to sort of help you care for your wig. But before I dive into all of that, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. All right, before I begin, I will let you know that I'm wearing the wig called Peerless 22 by Belle Tress, and this is in the color Sumptuous Strawberry. If you are looking for a brand new Valentine's Day piece, this is a really good option, but you'll have to act fast because Valentine's Day is very soon. I haven't done a full review on her before, but I have talked about the color Sumptuous Strawberry before and how it um, relates to Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice by Raquel Welch because they're sort of similar colors. So I can actually link that video below if you're really interested in this color, but unfortunately I don't have a review on Peerless 22 yet. Okay, let me get started here. I don't think this will be an insanely long video because I mean, how much can I talk about five items? Well, actually, <laughs> I talk a lot, so I could probably talk forever about five things. So I wouldn't put it past me if this turns out to be 20 minutes long. Let's place our bets now, shall we? Anyone for five minutes? How about 10? We're probably already at like three minutes now, so five minutes will not work. Okay, now I'm rambling and I'm not even cutting to the chase here, so let me get to it. Okay, now these are in no particular order, really. They're just sort of five things that... I think you need. So I've actually done a video that has talked about 10 things that you could have as a wig wearer. I will link that below as well, but these ones here are my like top five must have. And if you wanna know some other things that you could have to complement your wig wearing journey, then go ahead and take a look at that video. Okay, so in no particular order, the first thing that I think you need as a wig wearer is some type of storage. So. Something like a wig stand um, is always awesome if you have the space. You can definitely still use the um, boxes that your wigs come in, that works as well. I have made a video all about storage that I will link below too. So make sure you go click on that so you can see a few different storage options that you can choose from. But absolutely some type of storage is going to help increase the longevity of your wig. I think we're all guilty of taking our wig off at the end of the day and just like, <laughs> throwing it on the kitchen counter, on the couch, in a laundry basket, like the, it it ends up in, in all sorts of spaces. But um, I think as long as we try our best at the end of the day to pick it on up and put it in its rightful storage space, then that's going to be best. Okay, so the second thing I think you need as a wig wearer is shampoo and conditioner. So I love using John Renault's Fiber Love shampoo and John, Re John Renault's Fiber Love conditioner. Um, I do know that there are people who don't love the fiber love um, and that's okay too. Whatever shampoo and conditioner works for you is totally fine. The only thing that I want to recommend is to make sure that if your wig is synthetic that you're using products that are geared towards synthetic pieces. Try your best not to use human hair shampoos and conditioners on your synthetics because it will gunk it up cause buildup, ruin the fibers, it, it won't be great. But just make sure you're looking for the synthetic products. However, an alternative to synthetic shampoo and conditioner could be something like fabric softener or even a mild baby shampoo works as well. And then of course, if you are wearing human hair, you would definitely go for the human hair shampoos and conditioners. I have done a video on how to wash synthetic wigs specifically. So if you are interested in that, I will also link that below and you can go on a journey to click on it and figure out how to wash your synthetic wig and all the ins and outs of that. So the second thing is shampoo and conditioner. I guess that's kind of like two things in one. All right, the third thing that you're going to need is some kind of a brush for your wig. If you have a synthetic wig in particular, I definitely recommend a wide tooth comb. This is gonna be the most gentle on your fibers, causing the least amount of pulling um, and just the least amount of frizzing on the ends of your synthetic fibers. If you have a human hair piece, then a wide tooth comb isn't as necessary. It's nice to have, but for human hair, it's definitely okay to use more of like a bristle brush that you would use on you know, your own bio hair. Okay, the fourth thing that I think you absolutely need 
for your wig is some kind of heating tool. Now this will differ depending on the type of fiber or hair that you have. So for example, if you have a synthetic wig, just a purely synthetic wig, the heating option I would recommend is a fabric steamer or a wig steamer, some kind of thing that produces steam for your synthetic wig. I do not recommend using tools like a hair straightener, blow dryer brush, um, curling iron, those kinds of things, like the dry heat that you would use on human hair. I don't recommend you use that on your synthetic, especially if you are new to wigs. Definitely try your best to avoid it because that heat will melt your fibers if it's just a synthetic piece. If you're a seasoned veteran at wig wearing, you might be able to get away with using some heat on a low setting, but if you're new, just, just stay away. <laughs> But if you have a heat-friendly synthetic wig, like this one, for example, is heat-friendly synthetic, you don't need to worry about using a steamer. Um, these options can withstand dry heat. My favorite heating tool for a heat-friendly synthetic is typically like a big blow dryer brush like this one. Um, I like to use these on my longer heat-friendly pieces, even my, you know, shorter ones, I use it too. You might not like these, maybe you like using hair straighteners, something that's going to be able to run through your fibers to help you defrizz the ends is going to be your best friend for heat friendly fibers. And then if you have human hair, again, something like a blow dryer brush to give it some body, a hair straightener, whatever your favorite heating tool is, I think it's a definite necessity, especially for human hair because that is something that you need to consistently style. I have videos on using steamers with synthetics and on using um, heating tools on your heat friendly synthetics as well. And I will link those videos below so you can go on another journey to learn about that too. Okay, and the fifth thing that I think you need, um, this is gonna be sort of different for everybody, but I think that you'll need either something to secure your hair underneath if you have hair, or something to make your wig just feel more secure. So like I said, this is gonna be different for everybody and this may not even be something that applies to you. For example, I am someone who does not wear anything under my wigs. I just go bare head and that is it. But these are some options that you might like. So if you have hair, you might like wearing a wig cap, just, just like this, it's just, just a nylon wig cap. <laughs> Um, you might find that you love having this there to secure all of your hair inside. Whereas some people might hate the feeling of a wig cap or they might feel like the wig cap slides off of their head easily. Um, it's all trial and error. However, if you are leaning towards wig caps or maybe if you find your wigs to be a little bit itchy, um, I suggest finding a bamboo wig cap. Bamboo wig caps are so comfortable. They're gonna provide a little bit of a thicker layer, yet be a very breathable option for you if you want to secure your hair underneath. And I do find that they help with the itching. If you're someone who doesn't have hair like me and you do find wigs itchy, then try a bamboo wig cap because they're so soft on your head. And you might find that they just completely get rid of that itchy feeling. And then of course, if you're wanting something that's gonna provide you with a little bit more security, for your wig to stay on, I would suggest trying a wig grip. Now, wig grips are just like a velvet band. Um, some of them have this lace in the middle so that it disguises underneath your uh, lace front and your monofilament top if you have a wig like that. Um, these are really great for adding that extra security under your wig to help it not move as much. So. Like I said, this is all trial and error. You can definitely wear a wig cap with a wig grip. Some people love that. Some people hate wig grips because they just don't stay on their heads properly. Whereas some people swear by them. So it just really depends on how you feel about it all and what works for you. Or you may be someone like me who just doesn't wear anything underneath at all. And that's okay too. But I wanted to make sure I added this as the fifth option because I feel like a large amount of people um, do feel like they want something extra to help with security and to help just keep their hair in place. Okay, how did we do? How much time did I take up of yours? I always say I'm gonna try not to make like a 15 to 20 minute video and then by the time I finish talking, I look and I'm like, oh dear, I've said too much. <laughs>
So I'm sorry if you find yourself like fast forwarding through my videos because I just keep talking. But anyways, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I do have a video that's similar to this that gives you a more extensive list of other things you might want as a wig wearer as well. But these are my top five. I hope you guys found this helpful and a lot of the items I've shown you today are available on our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. I will link some of them below for you so you can click on them and it'll take you to the website. Um, but I think that's everything I need to share with you today. So I will let you go and carry on your day. Class dismissed. Thanks for watching you guys. See you next time.